So hey, welcome back to my channel. So I own a bona fide 127 and I have never taken it out on the water without the flex booms on it. So I'm not sure if having flex wings on this kayak does anything. Is it worth the money? And it's not that expensive, it's only $30, but is it worth paying the $30 to have the flex wings on the boat? How does this boat react without the flex wings? We're gonna find out right now. So right now the flex wings are installed on this boat. It's been installed um, all along since I've been using it. So I'm gonna take it out right around here and just kinda paddle around with it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the flex wings off and I'm gonna see if I notice a difference. So right now, this is how I normally use this boat. I have the flex wings in, it handles, I think right now it handles really well. It's actually a good day to test this because it's actually windy out right now. So the boat handles really well. Kind of, it stays, it stays in a straight line. It's not spinning around. I do have the wind on my back right now. But for the most part, I am not doing a 360 yet, which is probably what I would expect if I didn't have them on. But I don't know, would I? The boat is staying pretty much in a straight line. And it does handle well when I spin it around. I wanted to spin this way and to turn it and steer it. It handles well. All right, so now for the real test. I'm going to bring it to shore and I'm going to take off the wings and then we'll do the same exact thing and see what happens. So that's kind of the idea I had. Now I can get underneath there and take them off. So I'm going to stick this back on so I don't lose it. them here. I don't want to lose them. Leave my screwdriver there too. Okay, so that's interesting. So what I'm noticing is that the ca the kayak without the fins on it, without the flex wings on it, actually is pushed sideways. Now, I don't know if having the flex wings on, if I would be pushed sideways or if the boat would just straighten out. The other thing that I'm noticing is that there's a lot less drag. The kayak seems to paddle better without those flex wings on. 
so the, the, the kayak itself paddles better. But you know what? I'm paddling it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm on an angle. I, I am in bone on an angle. Yes. Yes. There's, there's definitely a difference. A difference. So, having the flex wings on makes the boat stay stay in a truer line right now I'm the bow is going off this way so right now if I was trying to fish right now without the flex wings on in this wind I would be getting pretty annoyed so I'm just gonna paddle around a little bit and I want to see like I want to get the feel of not having it and then I'm gonna put them back on and then we're gonna I'm gonna come back out here again But definitely the kayak seems to be, you know, I, I can get, I get more, when I paddle it, I get more distance with the stroke than I did with the flex wings on. So the flex wings do have some resistance to it, but that resistance is what's making the boat go in a straight line. You have to have resistance, otherwise it would just do this, and that's what it's doing right now. It's kind of all over the place, actually. So I'm gonna try going in a straight line. I'm gonna try to keep it straight and see, and see how it goes. And, ex and what's happening now is that as I'm trying to go, so I'm trying to go straight and this thing's kicking out like this. All right, so I am going to head back and I am gonna put the flex ones back on. Try doing the same exact thing. I'm gonna try keeping the boat straight and see how difficult it is. Just in case the conditions change, I don't know. definitely noticed the difference so far. So I'm going to put the flex wings back on and I'm going to take it back out again. And I'm going to see if I can feel that same thing I was feeling when the wind was making the boat kind of not stay on track. I'm going to see, I'm going to see if the flex wings keep, keep this kayak on track and all. Okay, so I got the flex wings on. I'm gonna head back out in the water again. So I am in the wind again, and the boat is handling totally different. It's staying straight. It's staying wherever I'm pointing it. But like I said, I definitely notice that my, the paddle stroke or the boat is slower. They, those flex wings slow the boat down. Absolutely. Um, is it worth it? Seeing the difference now? Yes. I mean, the bow is staying straight. It's staying. Straight. Let me try going across like I did last time. That was like spinning. Yeah, it just straightens right out. So it, it just it just wants to continue on. So the resistance that you're getting from it wants to straighten itself out constantly. If you, if you, if you spin it or turn it, it's gonna want it's gonna want to just keep going straight. And that's the resistance that you get when you're paddling. I like can actually feel it. You feel the difference with not with with, with them out. You can feel the difference with them in. So 
Is it is it terrible to paddle? Like, like I, I mentioned before, this, this boat feels like a tank. And I guess that's why it feels like a tank. It's because of the resistance from those flex wings. But the value of it, I think it's worth it. I mean, I'm, I'm able to be in the wind and the boat is still being straight. I'm not going sideways at all. So is, is, is buying a rudder better? I don't know. I know this is a pretty good option because it's, it's actually keeping the boat straight. So that is my opinion. And if I was buying one of these kayaks, um, I definitely would put the flex wings on it. I, I don't think that I would skimp on that. I, I think having the flex wings on it is more of a fa an advantage than not having it on it. And listen, I'm not sponsored by Bonafide or anything like this. I'm not making any money from Bonafide or anything. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. And I think I would keep them on. So thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe. Bye.